Now at five, one man stands accused of attacking a church pastor in Danville. Yeah, CBS 4's Courtney Spinelli explains what may have led up to this. Started as a 911 hang up to the Hendricks County Communications Center, quickly evolved into something much bigger. All they could hear on there was somebody screaming. Police say they went to that location and found a woman who told officers her ex boyfriend showed up at her house. She believed he was high on drugs and was acting crazy. As officers searched the area for the 31 year old man, they found a vehicle they believe he entered without permission. They eventually found him, and nearby on the ground, a pastor he's accused of assaulting outside the Mary Queen of Peace Church. He had no idea what he was going to walk into. When he came out, the individual was tearing banners and a wreath off the church and just uh, kind of causing chaos. Police we say that's when the suspect punched the pastor in the face and knocked him to the ground. This is a, a pastor that is a lot for our community, um, and just for something like that to happen to him is just, you know, it's really disappointing. But that's not all. The suspect turned his sights on a police sergeant. That interaction caught on body worn camera. As he got out of his car, the male rushed his vehicle, pushed the door back, and pinned him. Um, nearly pinned him in between the door. Police say that sergeant released his canine partner who bit the suspect. Officers believe the man was on drugs. It took three officers. Eventually, they got him into custody. While the male was on the ground, he was grabbing a hold of the dog, trying to gouge at his eyes. In this case, Detective Nate Lean says the system operated as intended. He credits the 911 caller who alerted them to what was going on. If we didn't receive that first 911 call, it's hard to say what this male was capable of. Reporting in Danville, Courtney Spinelli, CBS 4 News.